That era of things that started in the mid 60s and on was the, really the beginning of what we think of Canada. The work and the symbols of those times helped define an attitude of new possibilities, not tied to the past, but looking towards the future. For the ZBC, I designed a C for Canada, broadcasting out to the world. The beaver has roots, real ones. <laughs> well, the D is like a flagpole. How can it miss? It spoke for itself. It demanded space around it. It took this dimension and it made it similar to this dimension. This is why I love it. Do you think we should have a distinctive Canadian flag? I certainly sure think we should. The search for the, a new Canadian identity really started in the 1950s. As we began to shake off all the trappings of yesterday, there was freedom that came with it. Expo put design and architecture onto the radar for many Canadians. The indigenous artists of that era were quite forthright in saying we will not be presented as propaganda. The set of social conditions that were potentially going to tear apart the country. It's interesting that language and design were the means by which that resolution could take place. If design helped, Canada find its place. What more could I wish for? So did Canadians design these symbols or did these symbols in fact design Canada?